they are a target in his eyes. IDF releases findings of what went wrong in the strike that killed aid workers. The IDF has released findings of a strike that killed seven aid workers, identifying that a series of mistakes and incorrect assumptions resulted in their deaths. An Israeli investigation into, into the killing of seven aid workers, which has drawn outrage around the world, has found that incorrect assumptions, decision-making mistakes, and violations of the rules of engagement have resulted in their deaths. The investigation's finding indicate that the incident should not have occurred. What? No. No way. No way. Are you serious right now? There, you can't be. You can't be serious right now. Oopsie. So it seems like they made the mistake of, um, here, here's what the problem was. Here's what the problem was. They killed a couple British people. AK, they killed a couple white people. AK, they did not kill brown people. So now they actually have to respond to the whole like, hey, you guys can't just kill whoever you want. Those 30,000 brown people, that's fine. Whatever. Hey, these guys? No, 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 guys, 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 guys. Did you not see their skin tone? Did you not see their skin tone? Yeah, we care a lot. We care so much that Biden has threatened to change U.S. policy if Netanyahu fails to protect Gazan civilians. Gazan civilians. President Joe Biden threatened on Thursday to condition uh, support for Israel's offensive in Gaza on it, taking concrete steps to protect aid workers and civilians. Civilians, uh, yeah, sure, sure. Seeking for the first time to leverage U.S. aid to influence Israeli military behavior. So here's the question. Why is this the first time we're doing it? Why didn't we do that before we sent them a bunch of military equipment? Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The U.S. president, a lifelong supporter of Israel, has resisted pressure to withhold aid or halt the shipment of weapons to the country. His warning marked the first time he has threatened to potentially condition aid, a development that could change the dynamic of the nearly six month old war. Six month old. Try 60 year old. Biden's warning related in a call with Prime Minister Benja Benjamin Netanyahu on Thursday followed a deadly attack on the world central, central, world central kitchen aid workers that spurred new calls from Biden's fellow Democrats to place conditions on U.S. aid to Israel. Israel said the mistake was, or sorry, Israel said the attack was a mistake. Oh, yes, of course. Yes, that's that makes it OK. He said Washington hoped to see an announcement of Israel's steps in the coming hours and days by suggesting a shift in U.S. policy towards Gaza was possible if it, Israel did not address the humanitarian situation in Palestinian enclave. Biden channeled his own frustrations, along with mounting pressures from uh, his left-leaning political base in the Democratic Party, to stop the killings and alleviate hunger among, amongst in, innocent civilians. Wow. Wait, at a briefing after the call, White House uh, spokesperson John Kirby declined to elaborate on any specific changes the U.S. would make in its policy towards Israel and Gaza. Okay. Okay. Sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But all of that was really just um, a precursor to this article that I saw that was amazing. Iran tells the U.S. to step aside as it readies to respond to Israel. Now, regardless of your opinion on, on Iran, regardless of your opinion on any, um, I guess, like paramilitary counter groups against Israel, you have to admit this headline, A, goes hard and is B, very funny. Like Iran telling the U.S., guys, get out of the way. We can fix this problem. Let us handle Israel. You guys clearly are too incompetent to do anything. Get out of the fucking way. Get out, get out of the fucking way. 
Iran said it asked the U.S. to step aside as the country re- prepares a response to suspected Israeli uh, attack on its consulate in Syria, while Hezbollah, its main proxy in the Middle East, warned that the Jewish state is prepared for uh, warned the Jewish state it's prepared for war. In a written message to Washington, Iran warned the U.S. to not get dragged into Netanyahu's trap. And the Iranian president's deputy chief of staff for political affairs wrote on X referring to prison, uh, Israeli Prime Minister uh, Bibi that the U.S. should step aside so you don't get hit. In response, the U.S. asked Iran not to hit American targets. <laughs> the U.S. has not commented on the alleged message Iran had sent. CNN reported that the U.S. is on high alert and is preparing for a significant response from Iran against Israeli or American targets in the region. The network cited an unnamed U.S. official. The NBC citing two unnamed U.S. officials uh, said President Joe Biden's administration is concerned any attack could be inside Israel, specifically against military or intelligence targets rather than civilians. The Biden administration did not take the usual step of communicating directly to Iran that the U.S. was unaware Monday's strike in Damascus would happen, Bloomberg reported, that suggested the U.S. was trying to prevent its own forces and bases in the Middle East from being attacked. Islamic Republic has said it will deliver a slap to Israel, its arch enemy. Still, it's unclear when that would happen or whether Iran would try and attack Israel directly or through one of its proxy groups, such as Hezbollah, based in Lebanon. The airstrike hit Iranian consulate in Damascus, killing at least seven Iranians, including two generals. While Israel has repeatedly targeted Iran-linked assets in Syria over the past few months, this was the first time an attack struck an Iranian diplomatic building. Hmm. 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 Can't trust the U.S. when it comes to Iran. Israel is the same as Russia. As in what they do, knowing what the U.S. they won't do anything substantial to make Israel act right. I mean, yeah. Headline, USA questions Israel after killing three white men after arming them to kill 30,000 Arab civilians. That is a more accurate. Yeah, that's more accurate. So, guys, does Iran have the right to defend itself after Israel killed seven Iranians and two generals in their uh, in their city? Or is that just Israel? I just want to make sure we're all on the same page with the liberals. Is this defending themselves? Are they be are they allowed to defend themselves? Or is that only Israel? If you touch an Iranian, we will respond, right? Yeah, I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure that all the countries have a right to defend themselves. Because I know Israel does, so I think... By that logic, Iran does too, right? Right? Of course. Duh. Come on. Come on. I'm sure everyone on Twitter will be very pro-Iran declaring war on Israel. I'm sure. I can see it now. The people that have the Israel flag and the Ukrainian flag in their bio, they. I'm sure on Twitter right now they're saying, I support Iran defending itself. Surely. Surely there will be no double standard, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I say we take it a step farther. Why don't we start giving military weapons to Iran? So that they can defend themselves, of course. Duh. (laughs) Oh, my God. Iran needs an Iron Dome yesterday. I mean, not wrong. Not wrong. Not wrong.